Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating some clothes for your Make Human character and kind of uh, editing them a little bit in uh, Blender, bringing them over into Blender. Uh, this tutorial is probably around the intermediate level. It's definitely not for beginning noobs, but intermediate noobs. So let's get started. As you can see, these um, characters here, the um, these are clothes that I kind of worked up by bringing basic clothes over from Make Human and working them up in Blender. And uh, just for anybody who's curious what these characters are, it's for a graphic novel that I'm working on with somebody else. And um, I'll put a link to it in case anybody's interested in that part of it. But anyway, um, we're going to start out here with uh, Make Human. I'm not going to get into how to download Make Human, how to uh, convert your Make Human character over to Blender because I've already covered all that in the Make Human um, uh, tutorials that I did under my Infinite Oasis channel. But uh, so what we would do is you would get your main character and of course work up your character however you want the character to look like using all the settings in Make Human. And then go over to the library where the clothes are and click on the clothes tab and you'll see these settings here. Now as Make Human goes, uh, progresses further and further, it's getting more and more options in the, here, which is great. So what you need to do first is think about what kind of clothes your character, you know, what kind of clothes you want them to have. And then get the closest thing here that would come close to that. And we're, what we're going to think about is how we can rework these clothes to fit what we need on our character. So, um... For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to do like a basic, um, maybe a short sleeve shirt with some, and show you how to modify a few things on the uh, character. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to get this basic costume, which is the long sleeve shirt and jeans, and I think it has the shoes too. So I'm just going to choose that. And there he is clothed. Okay, so we're going to take this character and go ahead and save it and bring it into Blender. Okay, so we're over in Blender and I've imported, I've exported the uh, MHX file from Make Human and then I've opened up the uh, character in Blender. So as you can see, once you bring it in there, I mean, it looks pretty good, but there are some areas where the clothes aren't covering. And every time that I've done this, I mean, it hasn't been a perfect import and it's mainly because, I mean, the different sizes and shapes that you can bring over a character from Make Human. You know, the, the clothes aren't going to fit every single character, so they need to be adjusted a little bit. So that's what we're going to look at doing. I'm going to do a control up arrow and go into full screen mode here. Okay, so, and it looks like also uh, this, the clothes that I selected has uh, like a t-shirt under here, which is okay. So I'm going to look at this long sleeve shirt first. And I'm going to tab into edit mode and uh, go into face mode. And just show you how you clean up a lot of these here. So basically what you would do is you would select a face and you would bring it out so that it fits the character better. And you can, you know, do this all day long. You can select all the faces and try to bring them out, but there's a little bit easier way. So what you would do is go down here to your proportional editing mode and you want to turn that on, uh, enable it. And then when you start to move something, you'll see this area of influence here. And you can change that. I'm holding down the uh, arrow key and, and you can change that just by moving your mouse wheel. So I'm going to move it, I don't know, right around that area. So then when we, we move out that one in the middle, it's affecting a lot of the other ones around there. So I just kind of pick the one that's kind of in the center there of the problem and start moving. So that makes it a lot easier when you go to fix these errors a lot quicker. Now keep in mind if you're fixing something that is over on the side here, of course, you're going to want to come over here and you might move it in the y-axis a little bit forward. But remember, you also have to move in the x-axis, of course. You're just trying to get it, you know, looking correct as you move, move these out. 
and I went a little bit too far there. You don't want to go too far because you'll have like bumpy things in your clothes and it'll look really weird. So I'm sure you understand that. The back is fairly easy because it's pretty flat. I mean, you want to try to keep the contour of the body a little bit, but you know, you don't have to worry about it too much. So as you can see, I mean, it's fairly easy to fix these things. So you would go through all that and fix that one, and then of course, if you want these, want to use these jeans, you do the same thing in here. And sometimes you have to guess where the face is because you can't really see all of them because they're actually below the surface of the body. And it's just a matter of you know trying to make sure you keep your proportion yeah yeah your proportions right when moving all these out. And then making sure that the clothes fit over the character the correct way. So fairly simple um, as you go around and you correct that. But then let's say that um, you know you brought over the shirt that you thought was close to what you wanted, but you do want to modify it in order to you know make it into what you're trying to do. So then we'll go into edit mode on the shirt and say we want to keep a collared shirt, but we we want it to to be um, short sleeve. So I'm going to uh, turn off the clue here and um, just come over here and I'm going to be box select all these faces here. And then of course you're going to be, you know, you want to be a little bit precise on what you're selecting. So I could do, a, I'm going to do a shift alt select here. Just make sure I get all those faces around there and X to delete the faces. So instant short shirt. And um, nice thing about it is, you know, when you go to pose your model, it works fine. Now see when you're posing, you see these other areas here that are going to be problem areas. All that means is you're going to have to clean this up a little bit better, you know, depending on how you're going to be posing the character. You're going to have to bring them out a little bit more than what you originally did. But again, it's not a big deal to do that. I mean, just, you know, see the ones that are creating problem areas and go in and fix those. The other thing um, you may have seen me do on some of those uniforms is um, a little bit of a trying to style the shirt. So what I did, say if, if you didn't want the shirt to be buttoned, um, basically what I did is just come through and alt select a line of faces, X delete the faces, same thing with um, this line here. So you have instant open shirt. And then say if you wanted some style that, I don't know, goes diagonal or something, of course you would just delete the faces that you need to delete and add in areas where you needed to add in. I mean, it's really at this point, it's basic modeling, um, but at least you have something as a kind of starting point to work with, you know, you have your basic shirt that'll help you get there. And another nice thing to this, if we go back to our different windows here, and I'm going to go into the UV image editor and just select these. Turn this off for a second, turn on. You can see that it's already UV mapped, which is really nice. That way, if you want to put, say, if you wanted to put a little emblem on the shirt or something, and um, I'm just going to select an area here, say it's somewhere right here, then you know that you have to put it here in your graphics program. Uh, it does get a little bit tricky, say if you wanted to put something on the sleeve. Uh, as you can see, all this is bunched up quite a bit, so um, it's going to end up stretching whatever emblem you put on there, so you have to kind of work accordingly to that. But that is basically it as far as bringing over clothes to um, into Blender and editing them with Make Human. Uh, using the clothes there as a kind of a starting point to make your own. Uh, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. I mean, if you're just going to bring over clothes and you're going to use them, and I mean, that's fine if it's good for what you're doing, but um, if you're trying to do something different, it's good to find something that's, you know, at least close, and then you can work it out to make it your own. Now, if you're interested in 
actually creating your own clothes from scratch, we could do that too. I mean, it's again, it's going to be just basic modeling, but if anybody's interested in seeing that, it's a possibility I could uh, do a tutorial on that as well. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe and comment on this if you would, and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.